Hello dear friends, in this video we have a case of a 38 year old man who presented with a swollen and painful face, particularly on the right side, and have a tooth issue. I will start with this image uh, to see that uh, there are some issues in uh, uh, his teeth here and here. Uh, particularly here we can see that the second premolar tooth is deformed, probably broken, and there is a periodontogenic cyst around here. And probably here, because the tooth is broken as well. Let's go to the soft tissues and let's see the, the images. Just pay attention on the right side and compare with the left. We always compare the right with the left side when we examine uh, uh, the cervix, the neck. Okay, we can see some differences. Right, left, right, left. Okay, let's go. Right, left, right, left. There are some differences here. Right, left. There are some mandibular salivary glands. All right. Here, in this region. Here. Okay. Edema. Edema, cellulitis. Right, left. We can see some differences. We will discuss uh, uh, them right now. So, the findings. As you can see, there is diffuse swelling and edema of the soft tissues around the right side of the body and part of the ramus of uh, the mandible. Swelling of the right platysma muscle and cellulitis in the subcutaneous fat. There is also swelling of the right myeloid muscle comparing to the left. There is edema in the sublingual region. And uh, given the appearances of the low attenuation in, in this region, uh, there is a suspicion of uh, fluid collection. If we go little further down we can see this asymmetry in the epiglottic uh, region and uh, there is an impression of fluid posteriorly to the ioid bone as well. Also swelling of the right submandibular salivary gland comparing to the left is bigger and surrounded by edema this thin hypotenuating layer. There is also a fat stranding and edema in the right deep parapharyngeal space here, comparing to the right, uh, excuse me, to the left side. Okay, on the right we have edema. Probably there is a mild swelling of the right pserigoid muscles as well, but not so significant. Is also some lymphadenopathy on the right side and here. Due to the sublingual edema there is a degree of elevation of the tongue but fortunately for the patient the upper airways are not 
significantly compromised. This is a point we have to mention in our report. It's very important. The number one risk is upper airways tract compromise in cases like this. For the paravertebral and prevertebral space looks okay. So this is uh, an inflammatory process and uh, <clears throat> in cases like this uh, Ludwig angina uh, should be included in the differential diagnosis although it's not absolutely typical but uh, probably this case could be characterized as possibly and um, potential impending Ludwig angina the classic uh, uh, um, uh, clinical findings in uh, Ludwig angina are tender and non fluctuant uh, induration in the submandibular space, palpable uh, hard mass like appearance with uh, an elevation of the tongue. So uh, we have the elevation of the tongue, we have the cellulitis and probably this is uh, an early stage of Ludwig angina. Friends, thank you for watching, see you the next time.